Barbara, drafted by the Metro Stars. He's a new goalie, goalie for Puerto Rico this season. Uh, and But he, he earned a great win over Rochester with some key saves, according to our scouts out there. Zuleta got that right foot up high to keep possession from Puerto Rico, and then a good job by Noah Delgado. Now chasing after it. Malise inside the box, and a header, and they score! Out of nowhere, Puerto Rico takes a 1-0 lead. Oh, where did that come from here in the 19th minute of play? And Maradona gets a bump from Corey Warfolk. Corey Wolfolk, former Rochester Rhino, makes it 1 0. Yeah, you can see a beautiful, beautiful touch on to Wolf, Wolf, Wolfolk, and he gets the header way past Zegar. It's not really Zegar's fault. He played that perfectly, and the ball just outside his outstretched arms, and uh, it's 1 0. And Toronto again finds themselves in another hole. Boy, after the start, when it's been pretty much all Toronto in the Puerto Rico half. It's, it's, in the back. it's interesting uh, you, you mentioned Rochester because Zygar used to be a teammate last year at Wolf Oaks at, at Rochester and I'm sure they ran through that breakaway drill in practice and he looked like pretty comfortable there packing it away and uh, he also scored the winner in a recent win over the Rhinos this season well this goal could very well give the road team some legs and let's see how they do they're known as a strong midfield team and that can once you get a one nothing lead if you can play a solid, consistent game in the midfield. You can really choke it off for the opposition. So the Lynx now will even probably more so have the work cut out for them as they couldn't finish on some early opportunities. Lyette chests it down. And that really took the wind out of their sails too. They're going to have to get something back soon because uh, that's that's just a deflator when that happens. Delgado plays it ahead. Dalonsar. Now the Islanders. Continue to work over on their right flank. In the middle for Maliza. Right side, not a lot of space. You see the pressure by the links, but you want to close as well. Otherwise, at this level, a professional soccer player should be able to find that open man. This is what's going to do Toronto into. It's that possession factor. Puerto Rico up 1-0. They're just content to play the ball and make them chase it. Boy, that ball looked like it was clearly out of touch. Play continues on. Delgado makes a turn and fires a shot wide of the mark. And that's the thing too, Dan, is when you get running and get chasing a team that plays good possession, you get tired, your defender gets tired, and then they just cranked off another shot there. And, we're, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's going to be a long game for Toronto unless they can keep possession of that ball and make shorter passes. Corey Wolfolk, the goal scorer. That goal brought to you by Oakville Nissan, home of the perfect drive. And that was the perfect header on by the former Rochester Raging Rhino. It is game on as each team has struck. And here comes Puerto Rico. They're throwing it right into the box. They're not laying back either. Decker can't clear it. Hyatt will turn. He... Knocks that one out of touch, but it goes off the head of Corey Wolfolk, and it will be a Toronto Lynx throw. In the 24th minute, we are tied at one. A must win, if you will, very early in the season for the Lynx, who started on the road with a half a dozen games, came home and lost to Montreal. And now they're chasing for a playoff spot. A one game at a time, and... One half at a time. Right now they're tied in this half. And they continue to put the pressure on. Zuleta forced back into the box. Here's a chance. Di Placido just can't get there. Delgado. Nice idea. Chip ahead. Now the race is on. Titus gets there and he gets a foot in. And with that left foot, he flicks it to the outside post. Now Titus again fighting for it. Puerto Rico, top of the box. And Avali, what a goal. Oh, baby. That was magic oh what a shot we're speechless up here we just saw the efforts by Titus to clear the ball and then Puerto Rico scores a goal less than a minute or two later from the tying goal by Toronto a beautiful spectacular half bicycle kick volley you might want to call it from the top of the box and it's 2-1 Puerto Rico Dallin Sar Number 10 to Alan Carr ties or puts Puerto Rico ahead with a beautiful goal. Save that one on tape if you're taping by any chance. Because by 
Velez, and it will be a Puerto Rico throw. Velez brings that down nicely. Top of the box. There's a turn. Chance now. Wolfolk is brought down, and I think we're going to have a penalty shot. Yes, we are. As Wolfolk is brought down on the play in the box, and Theo Zagar in the face of the referee after that call. Oh, I mean, we're going to see on this on the replay eventually that, uh, but it, the tackle, uh, it looks like we got some ball in here as well as, as, as a bit of the man as well. As you can see, I think that's Titus in there, and uh, he got a piece of the ball before the tackle. Um, it's 50-50 either way. It's up to the referee's discretion. You know, he's coming in from behind, but he does manage to get a piece of the ball before he gets the man. Close call there, and, you know, really unfortunate for Toronto because uh, unless we see something. espectadores quieren también cantar el gol de Puerto Rico, están un poquito desesperados para ver la reacción de Puerto Rico que todavía lo vemos medio dormido, pero yo sé que viene, viene Puerto Rico. Ahí se va la Silva, se va la Silva, puede venir, puede venir, puede venir el gol, 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 gol. Wolfo, 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 en una gran jugada del jugador Sasha, la tocó la peinó Wolfo, y señoras y señores, a los 17 minutos, ahí está la repetición, observen la repetición. Ahí está el golazo de Gulfo que nada pudo hacer el portero Juan.